Hello, hello. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing today? Hello, hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Are you ready for your English class? Good evening, Hello, good evening. Are you ready for your English class? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, good. All right, who can tell me what information do you remember about the previous class? What vocabulary do you remember? Anything like that? Somebody? Um, the have, have to, and the verb in past, I think. Very good. That is correct. We were looking uh, using have to and don't have to. And don't have to, yes. That's right. And the verbs in the past, the irregular verbs. Uh, so mm -hmm. today we're going to be looking at the following section which is going to be using regular simple past verbs. Now, what is a regular simple past verb? A regular simple past verb is, for example, if I say to you, uh, if I say to you, walk, walk. What is the simple past of walk? Walked. Walked. Right, so that is a regular verb. If I say to you, talk, what is the simple past? Talk or talk, no, I don't know. Hmm? Correct, talked. So the talked. simple past of talk is talked. Uh, what is the simple past? of, for example, if I say to you in simple past, drive, drove, speak, spoke, write, wrote, eat, ate, all of those are irregular verbs. Let's look at some examples of, for example, land. The simple past is landed, right? So those are what we call the regular verbs. You only put ed to make the verb simple past, but the irregular verbs are different. For example, um, we say in the simple present eat, what is the simple past? For example, teacher, eight. Eight. Cook. correct. Ah, oh, cook, cooked, that is simple past. That is a regular verb, cook. Mm -hmm. Simple past, cooked. All right, if I say to you, for example, speak, what is the simple past of speak? Spoke. Both. Spoke. Right, so there's a difference, there's a big difference between the regular verbs and the irregular verbs. The regular verbs, you only put ed to make the verb simple past. Irregular verbs is different. Irregular verbs, you have to change the word to make it simple past. For example, eat, ate, speak, spoke, teach. What is a simple past? Taught. Buy, what is a simple past? Both. Both. Right. So there's a big difference between the regular verbs and the irregular verbs. The regular verbs, you only have to put ed, and the irregular verbs, you change the word eat, ate, speak, spoke. Any questions about this? All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next section. Uh, for the next section, I would like for us to analyze section number 4.5, lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when using regular, simple past verbs. 
Al final de esta clase aprenderán a sonar natural cuando usen verbos regulares en pasado simple. Listen, please. Listen, please. Simple past ending. When pronouncing. Can everybody hear? Verbs, Can you hear? The ED ending of yeah, yes. simple past verbs has three different sounds. Let's listen and practice. These verbs end in worked, watched. Okay, so notice these verbs. If I put my two fingers here in my Adam's apple and I say work, work, work. So the letter K has no vibration, right? So we consider these verbs unvoiced, on voiced verbs these verbs for example if i put my two fingers here and i say clean clean stay stay so these sounds are considered voiced and the last one is whenever the verb finishes in the letter T, the letter T, or the letter D, right? For example, if I say to you um, the verb invite, invite, the last word it pronounced is t, invite. So I put a D for the simple past, and I'm going to pronounce it invited. Or, for example, the verb visit. Visit finishes in the letter T. So we add the simple past, ED, visited. Or the verb um, want. Want. For the simple past, we say wanted. Or the verb land, aterrizar. El avión aterrizó. The airplane landed. So, si el verbo termina en T o D, se pronuncia id. Everybody listen and repeat. Invited. 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 Visited. Wanted. 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 Landed. Landed. So, los verbos que terminan en letra T o la letra D, y se les agrega el ed para el pasado, se pronuncian ed. Los verbos que terminan en un sonido pronunciado, por ejemplo, clean, stay, la pronunciación es d, d una d. Repeat. Cleaned. 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 Stayed. Cleaned. Stayed. 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 Eh, quemar, ¿cómo se dice quemar? Burn. You are in burn. El pasado sería burned. Burned. O turn. Turn. Right. Turn. Tal vuelta. Turn. En pasado, turned. Turned. So, si el verbo termina en un sonido pronunciado, eh, usted va a pronunciarlo con la D. Si el verbo termina en un verbo no pronunciado, por ejemplo, work, work, watch, watch, son sonidos no pronunciados, la pronunciación, el pasado será t. Listen, work, repeat. Work, 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 watch. So, es básicamente de práctica. Eh, ojo con la pronunciación de la, ulta, la última letra del verbo. Watch. Así vamos a identificar. All right, let's listen to the video. Any questions? Any questions right now? Questions at this moment? Somebody questions right now? No, teacher. Nobody, okay. Listen, please. Thank you, Laura.
Listen, please. These verbs end in d. Cleaned. Stayed. These verbs end in id. Invited. Visited. In order to understand when we'll have a t, d, or id sound, we need to understand a couple of concepts. Voiceless and voice sound. So let me explain that. I would like for you to pay attention to my throat and my fingers. I'm going to put two fingers on my throat, particularly on my Adam's apple. I would like for you to do the same as well. Now, I would like for you to repeat after me. Watch, turn, watch, turn, watch, turn, watch, turn. Whenever we pronounce the verb watch, there is no vibration on our Adam's apple. This is called a voiceless sound. However, whenever we pronounce the verb turn, there is lots of vibration on my Adam's apple. This is called a voice sound. Now let's try to understand the it sound. We will pronounce it whenever we have verbs that have a T and a D sound. For example, visit has a T sound. So we pronounce the past as visited. Len has D sound. So we pronounce the past as landed. Let me show you more examples of words that are voiceless and voice to help you understand this topic better. Another method to use is following these particular sounds. These sounds are voiceless. P, K, S, H, C, H, G, H, T H S S C X. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Helped, looked, washed, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed. The following consonants have boys sound. L N R G V S W Y Z Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Called, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to pronounce all of these verbs. And then record yourself using the website bookaroo.com. After you finish this activity, share the link of the recording on our discussion forums. Okay, in this activity, you are going to record yourself pronunciating the words. Listen and repeat. Wanted. 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 Needed. 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 Helped. 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 Looked. 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 Washed. Washed. Chatted. Chatted. Laughed. Laughed. Breathed. 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 Kissed. 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 Danced. 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 Fixed. 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 Called. 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 Cleaned. 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 Offered. 
altered, damaged, damaged, loved, loved, used, 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 followed, followed, enjoyed, enjoyed, amazed. Amen. 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 Okay. So, lo que van a hacer es grabarse en bocaroo.com. And then when you finish, you are going to share the recording in the discussion forum. Does everybody have the link for bocaroo.com? Todos tienen el link para bocaroo.com. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right. Yes, teacher. Okay. So I would like for you to practice the pronunciation and record yourself. Van a practicar la pronunciación y después se va a grabar y lo va a pegar en el discussion forum. Aquí abajo. En esta parte. Okay. Any questions? Any questions? Yeah, esta es la plataforma, vocaroo.com, online recorder. All right, let's work in pairs, practice the pronunciation, and then record yourself. Vamos a trabajar en pareja, practica la pronunciación y después se graba y lo comparte abajo. Voy a habitar que los right. participantes puedan eh, compartir su pantalla para que la pueda compartir. That's right. Open all rooms. Ready? Let's go. Does anybody have any questions? Does anybody have any questions? No question, teacher. Oh, thank you, Tamar. Thank you. All right. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Guadalupe. Dalila, let's go. Jose Montes, let's go. Eh, Daniela, let's go. Crisia, let's go. Claudia Escalante, let's go. Elena, let's go. Andrea, let's go. Eh, Thelma, let's go. Patricia, let's go. Rocio, let's go. And Jefferson, let's go. Vamos a... Vamos a practicar la pronunciación del último video, ¿verdad? Sí, si quieren, voy a ver si les puedo compartir pantalla. Sí, por favor. Vaya. ¿Cuál era? O sea, ¿qué, qué, qué, no, ¿qué video es? I don't see you guys practicing. I want to see you guys practicing. Sí, ahorita teacher se lo está compartiendo la compañera. Se me trabó la compu, perdón. That's okay. Vaya, ¿quién este, lo va? Me parece ahí este compartido. Sí, sí, ya aparece. Sí, sí, ya aparece. Gracias. Gracias. Bye. Hola, ¿qué pasó? Ah. Es que no la escuchaba. Ya está compartiendo, creo. 
Eh, no, no se está compartiendo. Tiene que darle donde dice, ahí está. Dalila, Dalila está compartiendo, sí. Kissed, danced, he fist, fist. Y de los the last se pronuncia un cold, cleaned, offered, damaged, load, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Ya una pronunciación solo con la letra D. No sé si quiere probar este. Joana, él lo puso. Joana. Voy a, voy a intentar yo. Ah, vaya, está bien, Guadalupe. ¿Eh? Este... Las primeras con ID. Mm -hmm. Ok. Want, need, it. ahora con ten. Helped, looked, what, what, allow, allowed it, read, kissed, dance, dance. Adiós. Pikes. Spike, 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 no me sale. Ese, ese, ese se pronuncia fist, fist. Fist, okay, Ajá. fist. Fist, caja como okay. pronunciar la, la X y la T al final. Fist. Fist, fist. Ajá. ok. Eh, la siguiente sería cold, clean, clean, offered, off, off, offer. offered, offered. Offered, uh -huh. damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed, 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 amazed. amazed. En que la pronunciación de la, de la última sí, sílaba cuesta. Se, se parece, ah, que todo se parece. Uh, damaged, damaged, uh -huh. se cuesta. Como que la entonación va en la última consonante que está ahí en, sí, en el listado y la pronunciación de la B. Cold. Ahí está, cold. La clean, la N tiene que sonar clean. Pero es que esas, ento esas entonaciones en, en el inglés. Cold. Ajá, ok. Ok. Eh, Joana, no quiere intentar. Sí, sería Juan Juan eh, me dijo, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Uh, one, wanted Wanted Need Needed Held Needed Held Looked Look Watched Watched Lound Bread Kissed Danced, fixed, cold, clean, offered, dam damaged, damaged, love, use, follow, enjoy, ama amazed. 
Ajá. Uh -huh. That's good. Ok, entonces podemos ya, ya grabarnos. <ríe> Ahí paré. Lupe, ¿Mm? este, una máquina no sirve. El bucaro. Ok, salir. All right, let me have one volunteer. One volunteer. All right, go ahead. Miguel, please read the vocabulary, empezando con wanted y terminando con amazed. Okay, teacher, good evening. Good evening. Uh, wanted, needed, 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 or needed. Needed. Uh, Voice sounds equal uses the vocal. No, no, no! Don't read that. Only the only the vocabulary. Help. Okay, sorry. Uh, P, helped, looked, washed, watched, it, laughed, it, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed. Good. Good. Called, good. Cleaned. Offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. All right. Awesome, Miguel. Good pronunciation. Hit it on the first try. Good job. All right. Let me have another volunteer that would like to pronounce the vocabulary. Okay, Elena, go ahead, Elena. After Elena, we have Kevin. Okay, um, can you share, please? Yes, of course. Uh, guys, um, sorry, Elena, un pequeño paréntesis. Eh, ¿Quiénes no están en la sección 4? ¿Quiénes todavía no han completado Sección 1, 2, 3, midterm exam, y que esté en la 4. Claudia Escalante. Claudia, ¿me escucha? Creo que dijo que iba a estar de oyente, Ticha. No ah, sé okay. si tiene problemas con él. Oh, okay, okay, eso puede ser. Okay, uh, guys, necesito que todos estemos ya en, um, en la sección 4 porque ya actualizaron eh, las notas. Aquí las estoy viendo. Eh, quiero ver Alba Luz. Ok, veo que en este grupo la mayoría sí va bien. Okay. All right. Bueno, si necesita apoyo para llegar a la 4, please escríbame o avíseme para poderle apoyar. Porque eh, me mandaron un text de la academia. Que si no está, digamos que usted está participando en la clase, todos los días se conecta a la clase, pero no está finalizando los ejercicios en la plataforma, no va a poder recibir um, un certificate. Eso no va a contar. Ok. So please, y yo estoy aquí con toda la disposición para ayudar. Así que please, eh, terminemos los ejercicios. All right, who was going to read? Can you leer? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Um, wanted, needed, helped, looked, watched, watched, loved, breathed, 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 breathed kissed, 
dance, speak, hold, clean, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, 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 followed enjoyed, amazed. Excellent. Excellent. All right, looks like you guys uh, got this. Doesn't look like you have a difficulty with the pronunciation. So we're going to go ahead and move forward. Eh, por allí vi una mano. Alguien levantó una mano. Kevin? Okay, go ahead, Kevin. Yes, teacher. I want to try. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Kevin. Uh, Okay, okay. Uh, wanted, needed, helped, looked, washed, washed it. Eh, wa washed or washed? Washed. Watch, watch. Uh -huh. Ahí no se pronuncia la E. Washed. Solo las que terminan en T y D se pronuncia la E. Wanted. Needed. Mm -hmm. En este caso sería wash, wash, con sh. Sería wash, wash. Ok, ok. Wash, watch, watch, lausch, laughed, laughed, breathe, breathed, breathe, kiss it, kiss, dance, danced. Dance it, fix it, fixed, fix fixed, fixed, called, 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 oh, called. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, <laughs> called, cleaned, officer, damaged, loved, used, follow, followed, enjoyed, followed, followed. Fo with a D, followed, followed. Followed. Imag Imagínese que es una D, followed. Followed. All, all right. Mm -hmm. Enjoyed. Amazed. Amazed. Okay. So, es importante pronunciar ese sonido D y ese sonido T eh, para agarrar puntaje. Si algún día... Eh, no sé si alguien planea algún día viajar por una beca, digamos, eh, estudiar en la universidad en los Estados Unidos. Eh, este examen de pronunciación del simple past se lo hacen. Eh, es una parte de la evaluación. So, eh, si usted tiene planes a futuro de algo así, por favor, ya. Yeah. Ya, yeah. en el TOEFL tiene que, le, le hacen este examen y tiene que pronunciarlo correcto. Si no, le quitan puntaje por eso. Como es a nivel universitario, eh, yo he examinado a personas en, este, en esta área. All right, let's go ahead and move forward. Good job. I see that everybody is getting the hang of it. I would like for us to take a look at the next section. Eh, Antes que continuamos, necesito tomar asistencia. So, en este momento, eh, voy a decir su nombre. Please say present. Today is the sixth. The sixth. Alba. Present. All right. Alison. Present. Thank you. Andrea. Present teacher. Very good. Carlos. <clears throat> Carlos is absent. Claudia Constante. Present teacher. Excellent. Claudia Escalante. Present teacher. Good job. Dalila. Present teacher. Fantastic. Daniela. 
present. Awesome. Diana. Present. Very good. Tell me. Present teacher. Thank you. Elena. I'm here. Awesome. Gabriela Ramirez. Absent. Gabriela Orellana. Present teacher. Good job. Hazer. I'm here, teacher. Very good. Hazer. Jefferson. Present teacher. Awesome, Jefferson. Joanna. Present. Thank you, Joanna. Jose Montes. Present teacher. Very good. Uh, Jose Rodriguez. Present teacher. Excellent. Jocelyn. Kevin. Present teacher. All right. Grisia. Present teacher. Awesome. Teacher, Laura. Disculpe. Hi. Eh, Carlos, Hi. Carlos David López. No escuché el audio y estaba arreglando. No sé. Lo estaba arreglando y hasta ahorita escuché lo que está pasando. Lista. Oh, ok. Ok. That's ok. Ahorita le marco present. Carlos, Carlos David López. Carlos David López. Yes. Yes. Yeah, Carlos David Lopez. Okay, present. Gracias. Thank you, Carlos. Let's go ahead and go with Laura. Present teacher. All right. Miguel. I'm going to say present teacher. Very good. Let me have Ovidio. Present teacher. Good job. Pamela. Uh, Pamela. Is absent. Okay, Pamela is absent. Hoy creo que ella escribió en en el WhatsApp que el internet le está fallando algo así, ¿verdad? No, no, Pamela. Okay, absent, Pamela. Patricia. Dijo presente en el chat. Okay. Patricia Yamilet present. Okay. Got you. And let me have Sabrina. Present teacher. Excellent. Guadalupe. Present teacher. All right. Let me have Tamar. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Tamar. Thelma. Present teacher. Good job. All right. Excellent work. Let's continue. Okay, guys, for the next activity, I would like for us to go ahead and move forward. And we're gonna be looking at the next section, which is gonna be coming from section number 4.7. By the end of this class, you will learn how to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using irregular verbs. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán a formar oraciones positivas y negativas en pasado simple usando verbos irregulares. ¿Cuáles son los verbos irregulares? Por ejemplo, eat. ¿Cuál es el pasado? Eight. 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 Es un verbo irregular. Eh, speak. ¿Cuál es el pas pasado de speak? 
Spot. Spot. Es un verbo irregular. Run. ¿Cuál es el pasado? Run. 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 Es un verbo el irregular. Be? ¿Perdón? El verbo irregular be. Ah, el verbo to be. Correcto. Be, is, was, were. Correcto. Es was. irregular. Very good. Have, has. Correcto. Es irregular. Oops. Have, has, irregular. Good, good. Ok, entendemos que los irregulares no llevan ed, sino que cambian su forma. Let's go ahead and take a look at the video. Please take notes. Tome apuntes. Please take notes. <clears throat> Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to form positive and negative statements using irregular verbs. Let's get started by listening and practicing these statements in the past using irregular verbs. Simple past statements, irregular verbs. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10 o'clock. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. In English, we have two types of verbs. In our last class, we learned how to use regular verbs and learn the simple rule of adding ed to change those verbs to the past tense. We also have irregular verbs, which are more complicated because there really isn't a particular rule to follow. You will need to learn them and memorize them. To form positive statements in the past using irregular verbs, we will follow the same formula as with forming positive statements with regular verbs. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. On these chart you can see a few examples. If you notice the positive statements have the verbs in the past tense and the negative statements have the verbs in the present tense. For example the past of the verb do is did, get up, the past is got up, go, the past is went, meet, the past is met, come, the past is came, have, the past is had. Let's analyze the first example. I did my homework. First, we add the subject I, then we include the verb in the past tense, did. Finally, we add a complement, homework. To form negative statements, we will follow this formula. Subject plus didn't, the auxiliary didn't, plus verb in the present, plus complement. I didn't do laundry. First, we add the subject I. Then, we add the auxiliary verb to form negative statements in the past. Didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present. Do. Finally, we add the complement. Laundry. Eh. Guys, una estrategia que yo he usado con personas que están tomando así como conversation classes, que quieren trabajar como en call center, eh, una estrategia que les recomendaría hicieran es esto. Now it's your turn to practice. Now it's your turn to like practice. To make I would like for you to make and positive and negative statements. These Using irregular these verbs. irregular verbs. After you finish this activity, After you finish share, this activity your share your work form. in your discussion form. 
¿Por qué es bueno que ustedes hagan eso? Porque eso les va a ayudar. Ya you tienen know. el material didáctico. Usted lo único que está haciendo es, eh, así como una canción, suavecito, despacito, y después te la memorizaste y no sabes por qué ni cómo, así mismo es el lenguaje. Right? Si tú te sientas y tú ves el video y te sientas acá. Last class, we learned last how class, to use regular we learned how to use regular verbs. And learned the simple rule of adding ED to change those verbs to the past tense. We also have irregular verbs. We also had irregular verbs. more complex. ¿En cómo crees que eso te va a ayudar a, mejor, a mejorar tu inglés? Si haces eso. Yes. En la fluidez y... Yes, José. En la fluidez y la pronunciación. That's right. That's correct. A. Listening. Sí, Alba. Sí, eso iba a mencionar que uno este, va a hablarlo de forma más fluida mm -hmm. y la pronunciación la va a mejorar. That's right. That's right. Eh, y obviamente todos desarrollamos un accent, right? Cada quien desarrolla su propio accent. Eh, nadie puede decir ese accent es correcto, ese accent es incorrecto. Por ejemplo, mi accent es de Houston, Texas. ¿Por qué? Porque yo estudié en Houston, Texas. Si me hubiera criado en California, tal vez tuviera, tuviera otro accent. Si me hubiera criado en New York, tal vez tuviera otro accent. So, cada quien desarrolla su propio accent, pero eso no importa. El accent no importa. Lo que importa es cómo que estés, que la idea será tangible, que lo que tú estás hablando se entienda. Right? That's what you want. Ok. So, es una estrategia que yo he usado con mis grupos avanzados, pero pienso que Pueden empezar a hacerlo ustedes porque ya lo tienen el material. ¿Por qué no practicarlo? Right? Usted se sienta en su hora de almuerzo y usted dice, vaya, voy a memorizarme este video. ¿Cuántos minutos dura este Kate, video? Tres minutos. The... Ok, voy a practicar un minuto, dos minutos, tres minutos. Y la gente allí lo va a estar viendo hablando inglés. Es like, what are you doing? Y usted va a estar con su teléfono. Using... Irregular verbs. irregular verbs. Let's get started by Let's get started by listening and practice these in statements the past in the past using irregular verbs. Using irregular verbs. Simple past right. statements. Y eso le va a ayudar a usted a desarrollar listening, pronunciation, and fluency. Usted está llenando su campo de información, listening, speaking, Looking at the video, o sea, estás llenando tu campo de información de full English. Okay, let's continue. For this activity, I want you to complete the conversation by using the correct form of the verb in the past tense. If you already did it, I want you to share and compare your answers with your classmates. Ready, let's go. Vamos a cambiar grupos. Y vamos a completar el ejercicio. Let's go. Hello. 
Hey, what's going on, Guadalupe? Eh, usted está con Kevin Eduardo. Voy a poner a Kevin en el grupo 2. Um, tell me Guadalupe. I'm going to put you in group four. All right. Telma, Hazer, Crisia, Patricia, tell me. And Claudia, you can work as a group. Hey, what's going on? Teacher, good, what's, good, good evening. Aquí con Carlos que quería saber Carlos que quería que íbamos a hacer. Es que yo me conecté del celular, teacher. Disculpe. Ah, okay, okay, that's okay. Uh, Carlos, we are going to be working from exercise number four point nine, and uh, you are going to complete the conversations by using the correct form of the verbs in the simple past. Ah, ok, este, yo ya eso ya, ya, lo, ya lo completé. Ah, ok, so you can share your answers with Miguel. Uh, sí, vamos. Gracias, teacher. Vamos yes. a platicar de okay, eso. Ok, teacher, conmigo. thank you. All right. Ah, pues es el 4.9, Carlos. El 4.9, sí. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. Yo no lo tengo aquí a la mano. ¿Lo porque... uh -huh. uh -huh. Bueno, eh, si ya lo hizo, quiero que comparte sus respuestas. Ok. Ahora, oh, teacher. Okay. Okay. Íbamos con la conversación 4. Yes. Ok. Ya lo hicimos. Compártelo. Son las 4. Ah, Compártelo. ok. ¿A dónde? Um... Comparte la pantalla. Ah, va. Va, ya se lo... Ya se lo... Que tengo bastantes fotos y bueno, me cuesta. Perdón, mira que con este teléfono me cuesta mi A ver, vaya, espérame, espérame. Ya le voy a mostrar una, por lo menos. Que tengo bastantes y, y este, cosas como. Quiero ver, foto, foto. Pero, el siguiente. Uh, pero, uh, la tres ahí está, ya está cargando pero este era duré eh, cuando cuando este ah sí, esa es ya le digo, ya le digo ¿cuál es compañero? es la siguiente pero si sí la tengo, me dije yo ajá uh -huh. Es la otra. Ajá. Es el 4.12. No. Ah, ok. Me asusté. No, esa no que está. All right, all right. Let me have one volunteer, one volunteer, please. Let me have one volunteer, one volunteer, please. One volunteer. All right, Carlos and Tamar. Carlos, I want you to do uh, number one, Tamar number two. Okay. Uh, number one is, did you have a good, a good summer? summer? Did you have a good summer? Excellent. Tamar, the next one. And then we have Jose. And last, we have Miguel. Okay. Yes, I did. I had a great summer. I had a great summer. Good. Good. Thank you. Jose. Hello, hello teacher. Uh, right there. Uh, no, el otro Jose tenía uh -huh. la mano levantada. Uh, yes, Luis. teacher. Uh -huh. The the conversation number three and uh, letter A. Did you take any classes last summer? Okay, did you take any classes last summer? Very good. Yes. Okay, vamos por conversación uno, ejercicio tres. ¿Qué me oh. lo puede hacer? Sorry, yes. 
the the letter B is uh, I went. I went I, to the beach. I a went lot. to the beach a lot. I went to the beach a lot. Okay, good. And we got those correct. Okay, conversation number two, Miguel, number one. Uh, did you go anywhere did you last go summer? Anywhere last summer, good. Can make it a set like a see it. Volunteer, volunteer. No, I didn't. I stay here. Okay, no, I didn't. I stayed here okay okay another volunteer the last the next one the last is i got a part-time job i so got a part-time job uh-huh i made some extra money so i made some extra money nice good job all right the last one did you take any classes last summer all right carlos Uh, city. Okay, teacher uh, is yes, yes. I did. I took tennis lessons and I play tennis every day. Excellent, excellent. Took is correct. All right. The last one is conversation number four. Number one, volunteer. Did you speak English last summer? Did you speak English last summer? Correct, correct. Good, Elena, thank you. The next one. No, I didn't, but I read English books. Very good. No, I didn't, but I read English books. Read, simple present. Read, simple past. Se escribe igual. No, the next, the last one. The last um, one. Mm-hmm. And I watched English movies. And I watched, watched, watched English movies. Good. Okay, good. Perfect. You got it. Any questions about this activity? Okay. We're going to look at the last one real fast. It's just a short video. Listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer simple past yes or no questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Did you like it? Let's listen and practice. Did you like it? So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses, and we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Let's take a look at the questions on this chart. Simple past yes no questions. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. In order to form simple past yes or no questions, we can follow this formula. Auxiliary did plus subject plus the verb in the present plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Did you have a good summer? First, we will add the auxiliary verb did. Next, we need to include the subject, you. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, have. I would like to point out that 
the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary verb. All right, guys, we got to stop right here. It's already time to go. Please finish working on section number four, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Good night, guys. Thank you. Have a good night. night. Good night. Thank, Thank, you, sure. Thank, you, Thank you for your participation. Remember, practice makes perfect.